to another episode of The Middle Voice. It's a special edition today, Alex. Special edition? Let me tell you why it's why, a special Jim? edition. Why, Jim? Because I'm bringing out the toilet paper, Alan. I'm bringing out the toilet paper. Which means only one thing, boys and girls. Yes. What does it mean? No, it doesn't mean Alan's got to go to the bathroom. No, sir. It means this week we're going to do... Where They Lost Me. Where They Lost Me. What happened? What's going on? What's this not? Why did I buy the CD for it? So, Jim, where do you want to start, Jim? You, uh, you we, know? We have to start with the most hated album out there. <laughs> the, when people went like this. Which is a great point, Jim. Let's bring it. Same Anger Metallica. Guys, we did a show recently on uh, Metallica, first four albums, and the feedback was phenomenal. There is no gray area with this band. No, there is it's, no It's you area. love them, you hate them, where they go wrong? For me, it was injustice for all. We and covered I'm gonna that. Rip off but now we're talking Saint Anger. I'm gonna rip off a piece of toilet paper for Saint Anger, there, Alan. Saint Anger. I mean, I, I, I don't maybe, even know what to talk about. I don't, I don't even know what to say. More about than load? Album. More than reload? Well, I got. Well, that's next. Load, reload, reload, load. So Saint Anger. Okay, Jim Wyatt. Saint what Anger. Happened? Oh what, my what happened? God. I don't know. They they went in with Bob Rock, who uh, produced their album for the Black. Now, this is coming out of that whole uh, some kind of monster therapy session. James goes away. Great gets movie, though. Sober. Great movie. Great, great, movie. movie. Great, great, great. The whole experience. It is what it is. It, it, it's happened. They were trying to do uh, an album. James took off for two years to get sorted out. He's back. Yeah. New bass player finally, full time Jason. Phenomenal new Stanley. bass player. What happened, Jim? What's the problem? I don't know. I guess they tried to rethink what they were doing. And they thought too much of what they're doing, and they just, you know what? Everybody's entitled to make crap. too much up here, not enough <laughs> down here. I think is what Jim's trying to say. <laughs> Basically, this album is horrible. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I guess you could sit down and say, "Wow, it's you know very cool," but the reality is, it sucks. It's horrible. They should have never made it. <clears throat> But I'm gonna go Came back stronger on Death Magnetic. There you go. I, I believe you so. You believe so? Yes. I think so too. I don't know. For myself, Jim, like a Queensway, we talked about that too. I mean, anything after Empire was like a big question mark. Well, I liked uh, Operation Mindcrime too. I thought yeah, that, that was a great. I said album. after Empire, Jim. After Empire, uh, Operation Mindcrime too. Yeah, it's there. I agree. I mean, <clears> well, but, let's I mean, immediately following. I say uh, we you rip know, one. We ripped one Promise for Land. Promise Land. Well, Promise Land was okay, but okay. I ripped one. Okay, but you know. And then after that was uh, Queen's Ray K2 talking, crap. I'm talking drops. I'm talking drops. And then we had. Um, what was after that? I can't even remember what they were called. Oh, American Soldier. Oh, that, that's two rips okay, right we, there. We covered it. Now we go to, I don't know. Uh, Halloween. Halloween. One of our favorite bands, by the way. But yeah. when I heard the song Windmill. Chameleon. You know, off Chameleon, I go, That's okay. That's their Joan Baez album. Yes, their Joan Baez. I go, Chameleon, are you kidding me? That's a one rip, that's a two rip, and that, my friend, is a third rip for Chameleon. Uh, what else? Uh, Judas Priest. Judas Priest. They got to be Turbo. Before. Turbo. Because I'm your Turbo lover. Turbo. What happened? to say more. You know, back in the day, they were looking for the almighty dollar, the record company. We need a hit. We need something to put on the radio. Start experimenting with guitar synths. Synthesizers. Yeah, we won't play it like this, but we'll play it like this. <laughs> I mean, and they, and they played it on their comeback tour, Angel, Angel Retribution comeback tour. They're playing Turbo out of your whole collection. You come up with Turbo? Turbo Lover. That's it. Uh, Iron Maiden. Oh my god, Iron Maiden. What are you going to do? Now we're going to get into major <laughs> email. I mean, Iron Maiden. But guys, hold on a second. You know, Let's, say, say, which one is it? No prayer for the dog. Good. I mean, Adrian Smith leaves the band. They bring in somebody else. They wanted to go back to their killer, uh, kind of killer sounding, you know, a more basic sounding when they hit their pinnacle with Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. That's oh, why Adrian Smith's seven seven. like, where are we going with this? You know, bring your daughter to the slaughter. That yeah. was the hit off of it. I don't know what else. Holy Smoke. Okay, but, you know. You know, come on. You could see Bruce Dickinson wasn't happy to be in the band anymore. He wasn't contributing as much as he'd like to contribute. He was bored. The band was bored. And as much as people don't like Blaze Bailey, they needed some sort of like. I think there. there's some stronger albums with Blaze than, I believe so than this particular one. Again, what we're saying, all I'm saying is where they lost me. That's, That's where they lost me. Adrian Smith left. They lost me there. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, boy, these okay. albums are terrible. But from terrible, like you've always said, comes greatness. Sometimes greatness. you gotta make mistakes to uh, to make great albums. And they yeah, had. There's, there's, there's multiple, multiple examples. Uh, Y&T. 
Y&T. Came out with Face Melter a couple of years ago, but before that, I mean, here's a band that was part of the LA scene, consistent, hard rock, Motley Crue opened for them, tons of bands opened for them. Then they noticed that all these opening bands are now getting more popular than yeah. they are. So what do they do? Well, let's put some lipstick, flip our hair up. Let's go with Summertime Girls. Summertime Girls. Summertime Girls. Lost me. That's where they lost me. I mean, Mean Street, uh, Earthshaker. Uh, these are great, great out. Black Tiger. Summertime Girls. Summertime Girls. Come on. You're killing me here. Loudness. Loudness. Disillusion. What an album. <laughs> Come to the States, you can be big popular stars. What do they do? We gotta change your sound. Change your sound. Akira Takasaki. <laughs> he was the Eddie Van Halen in Japan. They're doing stuff that nobody's doing. Come over to the US. What is it? Roundness. What's the roundness? Walking wall <laughs> night, party, you know? Walking wall crazy night. You wanna hear wall tonight? Come on! What the hell's MZA they went, anyways? They went from I like that play. song though. Oh, I MZA. Like that song. MZA. MZA. That's it. MZA. What lost me? What are you doing? Well, I think you know what? We'll save some toilet paper for next edition of the Metal Voice. And a final rip, just to say goodbye to you all. Thanks for watching. Uh, that this was our first edition of We Don't Know What Happened. What are you doing? <laughs> we won't bring out the big nuts today. We'll throw the big nuts. Thanks for watching another edition of the Metal Voice, and we'll see you next time.